what is the syllabus you have to understand suppose that i told you that there are six portions how many portions i told you there are six division of the history hello dear aspirant welcome to pluto science today we will discuss how to prepare for history optional one of the first question that comes in the mind among aspirants that history is a very vast subject whether we should choose history as an optional or not but let me tell you that history is not so much vast as it is perceived i know that some of my students have a score more than 60 percent in the history optional examination let me tell you that how history is going to help you in the other places also like if we talk about history generally history has six divisions one is ancient india medieval india modern india post independent world history and art and culture if i talk about history optional paper you know that there are two paper in the history optional one is paper one or other is a paper two the paper one is about ancient and medieval india in which mapping sections are very important mapping in which at least 20 sites are asked in the examination for about 50 months okay out of 250 other paper we have paper 2 is of modern india plus world history and in this one we include post independent also this is what a division of history now the question is that if it is a vast subject then why should choose history optional let me tell you a student that it plays very crucial role in the preparation of the gs paper 1 mains examination along with prelims you know that there are 100 questions asked in the paper 1 of the prelims examination out of that on an average basis for the last 10 years at least 15 to 17 questions had been asked so this plays very important role so 15 to 17 are the direct questions and then there are three to four questions which are indirect in the history had been asked in the prelims examination for example some topic will be related to political science some topic related to world history and ir okay some topic related to ancient india plus geography these are the themes which are very important for us apart from it let me tell you that it also plays important role in the gs paper one in which at least 25 to 30 percent questions are from history sections only for example there are 20 questions in which five to six questions are from this one so as you know that history plays very important role also history is a very f in if you it history is especially about the very much analysis of the facts if you understood history properly if you have prepared these four sections that is ancient medieval modern plus world history you are going to score at least 75 percent in the some of the questions of the history examination so suppose there are some questions which are very factual narrative so if you depend on the analysis of the fact we are going to score 100 percent in the history examination that is why it plays a very important role but the point is if you do not have such facts if we do not know the analysis of the fact it is it treats problem for history optional okay this is what we know till now now let me tell you the steps i will tell you the steps as per you understood that why history is important so if we choose history optional as a subject let me tell you that what should we keeping in the mind before and uh, during the preparation of the history optional examination let me tell you these steps i have prepared these steps for you especially that first of all you should do that you know about your history optional subject and its relevance as we have discussed right now that it helps you in the prelims examination mains examination gs paper one gs paper two and then we have it also plays very important role in the interview because in the in the interview the they expect that the panel members will expect to that you should be familiar with the art and culture you, know, you should be familiar with the art and culture of indian society indian culture you should be familiar with the freedom and struggle movement different ideology and things you should be familiar so these questions had been there in the uh, interview examination also so you know that about your subject now let the point is that the second step you should follow in the history preparation is the get proper guidelines for preparing your optional subject how to get proper guidelines some videos are there will available on the youtube you should be knowing that which area is the most important area and what should be reading what should be not reading this is the most important point the third step is that get your study materials books and things are ready you know that history has how many revision 
history has six divisions we have discussed right now art and culture ancient medieval modern world history post independent okay so get the proper study material for example i would like to show you some of the uh, picture of the study material which will be you reminding that okay these are are my subjects so let us see that get your study materials book and pyq sections so when we discuss about the study material these are the uh, syllabus we have seen so these are the study material you can collect in this writing what you find here is that we have ancient india arya sharma medieval india we uh, have by satish chandra modern india by vipin chandra then we have spectrum world history by norman law art and culture by nitin singhania these are the important book apart from spectrum and ncrt's book okay apart from this these are the basic reference book and these are the basic essential the base it's a essential material okay thereafter we should focus on the some of the reference material that is uh, we have al wasam in the ancient india that is the book is called the wonder that was india then we have uh, sekhar bandhu padya placid partition then bipin chandra has two book on is india just called for independence and other book is the india since independence ramchandra guha indra gandhi and then other re reference materials are there now we have seen that so many study materials are there and also we have the pyq pyq is a very important thing to prepare for history optional we should firstly see the pyq also i will tell you the steps where we should be keep in this mind now the point is that should we read all these things as we have discussed that so many materials are there to read to complete history syllabus do i need to read all of them i will tell you of course not the point is that i will give you one example suppose you are a graduate and you want to start a business you don't have a family backup plan and you don't have money you will take loan from the government institutions or bank and then you will start a business okay so how will you start you will start from a scrap you will have to learn every steps in the business hmm. you will have to invest money also take loan also so you will be burden on that suppose that if you are from any rich family and then you are starting a business then you will have already a started plan like anil ambani san is the owner is the ceo of the jio let's say so the point is that this one only that if we start your self preparations there are steps you read ncrt you read the basic standard book that i told you essential book and then you read the reference book and then pyq will help you to understand all this concept but if you join the coaching institutions you don't have to do any labor there at it is like the same one that you have already a plan things so you can prepare yourself at home also it doesn't mean that you can not prepare but the point is the question helps you in that way so as i told you there are six part let me tell you that i have the three things if you depend you will be able to complete this syllabus what is this three things one thing if you read that is the lecture notes given at the plutus is if you read the lecture notes i have six lecture lecture notes for ancient medieval modern world history post independent article then second thing that you will do do the second thing we will have the class ppt the class ppt will have all the analysis of the questions of the previous year had been asked in the examination and third we will have the mapping notes also mapping notes so if you rely on this one you don't have to read any such thing even you do not need to read any standard or essential book if you focus on these things only in this history optional examination that we know okay now let me tell you that how to start preparation how to do what to not do hai na what is the steps in the preparation of the history optional examination so first of all when we discuss how to start our preparation the first point that you go to market the latest study material if you are doing a self preparation as i told you which study materials are required otherwise if you join the institute you will not have to collect any study material the second point is that understand the syllabus what is the syllabus you have to understand suppose that i told you that there are six portions how many portions i told you there are six division of the history so this is in saint india is in saint india there are about 10 11 to 12 chapters are there so you understand the proper syllabus what is syllabus in the medieval india we have seven chapters are there so we understand the syllabus that what is this seven chapters then you go to modern india again we have 12 chapters are there so we will be understanding this syllabus properly this is our second steps okay and then world history has about 10 chapters so first of all we will understand this syllabus properly this is our second point 
third point after understanding the syllabus you buy the book from the market there is a very famous book by the it's a pyq analysis by rashid khan okay rashid khan this is a very important book in the market so you can buy this book otherwise if you join our institute uh, you don't need to buy this book also the pyq are integrated into the pptis okay so you read the pyq you see what is the pyq which type of questions had been there then fourth step is a read this study material you had collected now properly analyze it that what are the questions had been asked if you see this one last 30 years especially we start from the 1979 onward do you know there are certain areas in which multiple questions had been asked for example if i talk about the decline of the modern empire more than 5 to 7 questions had been asked in the 30 year if i talk about alauddin khilji so many questions had been repeatedly asked okay if i talk about akbar rajput policy akbar religious policy multiple questions had been asked so with the gandhi okay so so many questions there are so many topic in the history optional which had been repeatedly asked in the examination same with the world history also okay world war second world war hitler these are the important topic on which questions had been asked there was no time in which french or american revolution question not been asked so we have this question so when you read the pyq you will be able to understand it so what do you do fourth stage read the notes analyze the notes and make the notes okay and then next point we have the focus on the time management also now what what should be the time management for us this is a very important point for us let me tell you a student here is that if you do a four hour self study for the next six month and a four hour self study for the next six month without coming to the institute you will be able to prepare your history option examination but if you find any doubt in difficulties you can join with us also what is the time management for us at an institute to prepare for the history option examination let me tell you that if you give two hour five days a week at the plutus highest institute with me okay and then two hour for the self study that ever whatever we have discussed in the class you are going to cover the syllabus within 5 to 6 month so 5 to 6 month 2 hour at institute 2 hour at home will help you to cover up all this syllabus okay so when so this is what we know about the time management now let us and so one should discuss the time management because you have to prepare other subjects also then you def- develop your conceptual understanding that which type in questions had been asked and how to approach this one with a historical debate in the class we discuss more historical debate and this one suppose that you know that in the 3 hour examination you have to write about 20 questions okay but suppose that initially you are able to write only 3 question in 1 hour so don't worry in that the practice makes a man perfect ha na the practice makes a woman perfect also okay so this will help you there at also okay and then revision is very much required hai na revision is very much required that is will be you will be doing with the time of preparation also and after your prelims examination you will be focusing on the revision we have a uh, op history optional mains test series also where we will be helping you in the preparation of these things so this is the steps when we prepare of our examination now the point is that what other things we should be focusing on that okay so humne dekha management time management we understood how to take up this one okay now the second point is that what common mistakes we should avoid we should not we suppose question is asked on the nature of 1857 that whether it was a peasant revolt whether it was a sepoy revolt whether it was a national revolt we should be stick on that topic only we should not give unnecessary informations so history is very much about the facts whatever facts we have we should be rely on that only so the common mistakes we should not focus other common mistake is reading multiple materials you should not focus on reading multiple materials but you should focus on the standard book which are suggested to you and focus on that only solve pyq so these are the other common mistakes you can see other point is that the many students uh, take more time to think about that so the time management is very important in answering all these questions in the 3 hour and then the point is that when you prepare for history optional examination before preparing history optional examination i will request you to go through the prelims pyq also so you solve the pyq of the prelims examination no problem you are unable to solve it 
let's say you are unable to solve 70 percent of the question you are only solving 30 percent it's okay but go through the prelims question paper of history so whenever you prepare for history optional examination this will help you okay this question had been asked in the prelims examination so do you know along with the preparation of history optional your prelims history portion will be completed also with the gs paper on the same time okay so this is what we know that this is the main steps where we can be prepared for the history optional examination all right student so uh, as you told you that you can prepare at home also okay but the point is that if you join with us you will be very much perfect within that five month how many time i asked you i asked you two hour at the institute two hour at the home this will complete your syllabus okay so if there is any doubt you can reach out to our comment team you can comment on the uh, youtube link also uh, my team will be able to reply your uh, comment your queries and also you can contact our institute okay thank you so much all the best for examination